All right, here we go. So time to go to Hogsmeade, and then we get a bunch of uh, stuff. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Doing something. Well, fancy meeting you here. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? All right, here we go, into Hogsmeade. Do we just, like, teleport there or something? I doubt that, right? We, I feel like we would walk there. We walk, like, everywhere in this game. It wouldn't, it would just be strange if you teleport. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. Speaking right, of so Weasley, yeah, I guess that we she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. I spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. A part of her running is this. It seems like it's a trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh. Just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. I guess that uh, we're getting these swing flies for some reason. I don't really know what they're for, but sure. Welcome. This is a pretty cool game. <laughs> I think it looks really nice. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You certainly don't see that every day. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Should be. To the left the is the Forbidden Forest. <laughs> Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah! You can see Hogsmeade just past those yeah. ruins up ahead. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. One boy fell off his 
I've always thought Thestrals pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Huh? A Demi, guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is. Or, rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place... I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Alright, so we gotta get a new wand and some other stuff. A lot of stuff here, it looks like. Can I still, like, zoom out and see... I guess... Let's go back to the map here. So, Hogwarts map, world map. I guess that it's a separate map. Okay. So, let's go to our quests. Um... Okay, never mind, I can't see... Well, I guess I can put it on the map. Let's go to... Where's the wand? Right here. Oh, it's like right next to me. Like literally right behind me. To so my right, it looks like kind of... I don't know why the icons don't show up on the mini-map. But, again. be right with ah it's you um just a moment please uh, mm. hello sir i'm looking for for a new wand yes it's about time yes i, I don't know about time well you're our new fifth year student are you not oh what am i saying of course you are gerald olivander's the name but of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. Mm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. 
Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Uh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. All right. Um, would you like change stuff? I guess. Curious indeed. Yeah, I think let's go with the default for this. Maybe, maybe not. No, we'll, we'll go this guy. All right. Um. That. What do you think? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now. How did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. This will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. this. <laughs> Actually, okay, wait, so it scrolls, so it's a little scroll icon, and this must be it. Yeah, all right, let's go here. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, seeing it. 
Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, yeah. shall we? <laughs> if you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Next, I go to the potion shop. So that would be here. I wouldn't mind. Welcome to J. Pippin's Pushins. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. I need to rest that right now. So now I gotta get for the magic keep. Which, was that this? No. This, this was it, right? Yeah, they're the magic neat again. Um, fresh produce season. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. 
Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Goodness! A second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair oh, uh, 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 I'll go and see what he wants. Lucky they didn't do more damage. One 
less thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Repair her. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow uh, me to introduce myself, uh, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So we get eight grand in success. All right, and I can equip it in my gear screen. I take the. I took a little bit of a look at this earlier, but now we can actually put something on. So we want to go to cloaks and robes. And then, wait, so if I press F, it compares it. Okay, so it shows what I have on right now and then what I'm going to put on. So, all right. Put that. I think it, it just uh, has more of the offense thing. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more battle-worthy items, should you be inclined. You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, we might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade, that all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. See us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? 
Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Oh. Oh, time, lame. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Harlow. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights, but we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Alright. Go to Hogwarts and then... I wanna go somewhere over here. I don't know, is the common room here? There it is. Alright. Well, that was uh, interesting. It seems like everything in this game, I mean, I guess it's kind of expected that they would make everything look a bit more interesting than just, uh, like, the, so, expect the unexpected, I guess, to happen. <laughs> Is it morning already or something? Alright, the uh, what other quests we have here. Alright, so regroup with Professor Fig. Um, Zenobia's Gobstones and this guy's Dueling Club, okay. I think for now let's just walk around a little bit. See what there is in the common room. I haven't really got to look around the common room yet. I guess we just uh, drink random things sitting around. Ooh, apparently I've got Owl Post. See who's sending me from Hogsmeade, okay. Um, oh, it's from Professor Fig. Uh, come and see me, I've discovered something in the locket we found. It. Ooh, okay. Alright, sounds interesting. Assuming that that's my only mail, yeah. It just stays there, it doesn't ever go away, even, uh, after I've already read it, apparently. Let's see what else is in here. Like, there's something with exclamation. So, my inventory. What do we have? Uh, whatever these things. Lace wing flies, okay. And it looks like that's it. Let me go back to this. Anything else? Quests, okay. We got... The, this is the new main quest. Uh, to talk to Professor Fig. And what do we have in collections here? So, we have... Okay, this is potions. Um, I can't, like... Oh, there we go. Just hover over it. So we got a few potions in here. We got an armored troll, okay. 
nine appearance. What are appearances? Are there like people I've met or something or what? Oh, okay. It's like things I again. Uh, what is this? Revelio pages. How self recipe book again. What's this? Conjurations. Um, again. And ingredients. Did I not? I like the thing I could get. There we go. I'm surprised that there isn't one for like. Well, actually, I guess. Whatever. Um. Oh, I <laughs> missed something else. See what else is in here, and then we'll go take a look around the uh, common room. I guess we can claim these gloves. We gotta get four for that, three for that, and two for that. What about field guides? Claim that and can't come by it. All right, now let's go take it. I probably have like something else. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> because I collected more stuff, I probably have more in my collection book now. Okay, now we can take a look around the common room again. So can we talk to this guy? Who's this? Can't talk to them, I guess. Okay. So this is like the the bedroom, I guess, in here. Uh, I'm not gonna press that because it's just gonna eat it. I can't talk to you guys, but. All right, let's go out here. So this is like the common like meeting area, I guess. I'm guessing that these are all like other rooms, maybe. Um, yeah, okay. So how do I know which one's mine? <laughs> like, do I have one even? Or like, I would assume it's this one. But yeah, like, there's really no way to see which one's mine. Let me talk to uh, these Handy people. Handy resource no. indeed, your field guide. I'm I don't most know why we can't just like talk to all these people, but whatever. I guess like it would be hard to make it so there's always something that you can talk to them about. House chest. Yeah, I can't put anything there apparently right now. Got a ghost over here. We can talk to them. It looks like. Oh, never mind. I can uh, eat the cupcake. They were just standing right next to it. Bennett globe. Eat more food. There's so many like just random things of food everywhere to eat. But I don't know why. I don't think that eating does anything for you. Really, not much to uh, interact with in the uh, common room here. Nor anybody that I can actually talk to. All right, so I guess that we just gotta go do some quests then. Oops, I knocked something. Oh, I broke the broke a vase apparently. Whoops. Oh uh, well, I'm sure it'll be fun. What is upstairs? Let's go check up there. Is there just like more rooms up here? Okay. Um, why can't I go up there? Is that like? Well, I don't know why I can't go up the stairs. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why, but whatever. I guess that we can't check up there. But, I guess it's later, so. Yeah, until then.